Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Planet Coaster. We are back in Ruzu and we are back in uh, the fresh season two, I should say. Last episode, we have done this wonderful, um, yeah, Camel Island, I should say. It was, you know, it was way overdue that we do this. And uh, before I go on, first of all, uh, I, I just left out the camera. I think uh, due to your amazing feedback again, I think it is fair enough to say that uh, it is maybe better to do it without until I figured out to do it with the green screen. Actually, I do have a green screen, by the way. I just don't really know how to put that into place, um, mainly because uh, I have the issue that I um, I have tilted walls here, if you will. I'm under the roof, just in the in the in the upest, um, like in the upper floor, I should say, and that kind of is the issue. Um, but well, yeah, that's that's about it. I don't wanna I don't wanna complain too much. It's, it's a very lovely room over here but it's a bit finicky to get these things in now um, as as yeah I was used to having a very straight wall uh, room in a way but yeah now well that's just a, a minor thing uh, to consider when you want to do this uh, hippo is about to inbreed no please um, god I should have I just I just should have looked a bit more into it um, Never mind. Okay, so actually today's episode will be a bit shorter. I also uh, want to use this situation over here to tell you guys that I'm about to live stream tonight. Very long, actually, indeed. Um, I hope to start around 1900 uh, CET, which will be in around an hour from this episode. So um, I'm not even sure if I can start. I think it will be somewhere between uh, 7 and 8 p.m. Uh, I guess that's realistic. But uh, yeah, today we are going to open this zoo. What I wanted to do, though, is I wanted to move this entire habitat over here to this side. Um, I, I like the idea of having like a cat house. This is why I'm going to try to move the whole thing um, just over. I'm, I'm not even sure why I even changed the path over there, but well, um, if I remember correctly, yeah, we should be able to move the whole thing over. Uh, which would be well over here, I guess. Um, yeah, that's kind of kind of where we go. Can I also actually also rotate it? No, I cannot really do this, but uh, that's not too big of a deal. I can I can still just move it further into the back. Yeah, here we go. Now that's fine. And um, I think it's also pretty easy to just get rid of uh, this stuff over here. I mean, I which actually, you know, the cool thing is I I you know what we do. We just select this all. Um, that's pretty easy, and just move the whole thing over. Uh, since we do not rotate it, I, sh I think it's even more easy to just... Oh, yeah. Just bring that in. Hello. No, just... Yeah, he... Wait. It has been... Okay, where is the... Uh, wait. It has been... Uh, functioning. Come on, do it. Um, potentially, we have to... Okay, wait. I think... Maybe it works over here. Yeah, we have to move... I think we have to move the habitat first and then... Uh, it should be working. Let me just see if that would work. Can I just, like, move that now? Wait. Uh, around? Yeah, that should work. So, um, apparently, that should be fine. And now what we do, we are just going to select everything like so. I'm gonna move this into position, which would be somewhere over here. I'm gonna align the bottom or like the, the terrain in a bit. I would love to just, you know, if I select the whole barrier, why can I not just move this all? That would be so much easier. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna move this into position here, uh, which would be somewhere here. Yeah, so that kind of makes a nice entrance way. And I wanted to make this kind of a big cat house. So I'm still thinking of including more than just one habitat, but I'm I'm not really sure yet. So what I'm sure about is that I don't want to have this lake here. At least not yet. I, I still have no idea what we're going to put here. Um, but I want to make sure that we open the park or the zoo at least in today's episode. Uh, this is one of my, my main goals. Um, well, we have this backstage area over here. So it should be... Yeah, we can still have this habitat over here and just connect it uh, with a staff path, just like so. Again, as I as I said, I'm I'm not even sure if I will keep it that way. I'm potentially looking into making it a bit different though. Uh, but for the moment, that should be all fine. Now, what we definitely need to do, we do need to bring this down again and then just yeah, use the terrain tool to just make sure that we uh, kind of create that area this way. Gonna smooth this all out a bit so I'm gonna make this look uh, somewhat nicer again hello why is that just ah oh, come on uh, we just gotta do it that way 
Right, that should be fine. And now uh, also painting. I think the thing is, um, if we just make this like a cat house, we can honestly just make this all very sandy and very soily already. They don't really like that much, um, yeah, well, that much grass anyways. So I'm gonna, gonna make this uh, looking already like a bit of an indoor area. That's kind of fine, I guess. Um, what I also like to do is, I'm not even sure if I, if I will be able, but... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this one and um, just produce. Yeah, well, hmm. Okay, let's shorten this. Here we go. And now increase the length. I just want to connect here. Yeah, here we go. That's awesome. Because now, oops, hello. There we go. Just click that. Okay, here we go. I just wanted to make sure that we have like a little bit of a, a shelter area in the back here where. Uh, the tigers or whatever can just still hide away or you know that could be like a backstage area um, I think that's fairly nice. Mm, can we just move this tree a fair bit over to the left hand side? Uh, and also I want to quickly sh You know have a little look. Sh what was even sh 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 um, If we can have like we do still need a female tiger because red does need a partner. Um, I also wanted to look into lion and lioness. Um, my biggest issue is, holy heck, can I just, I can only quick trade them all, right? I can release this to the wild at least. Um, see you later, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through and, and click them all. Um, so, back train cam wow, why are there so many camels in now? And, okay, well, uh, don't worry, just even look into it. Um, let's see, we need the West African lion. Filter. You kidding? <laughs> You're really kidding me. Uh, 4.2 years. Um, well, okay. Fatality zero. Uh, that is actually pretty okay. 5.1 years. Whoa, but that is that is fine. Let's see what else do we have. I think that's okay. Let's adopt this one. Perfect. Awesome. What about this one? 33. How old? 3.2 years. I'm tempted to, to take that one, but um, why is that so alright? Okay, I was about to say why, but are you kidding me? Like, why is that so um, alright? Okay. I seriously don't want to think about that because that was just insane. So we do have a white lion now, and a female lion, which is insane. Um, potentially we are just going to put a vet in here <laughs> directly to make sure that, uh, you know, I think we actually we're putting a vet here. Well, yeah, let's let's just do this. I, I feel, I feel that's a good idea because uh, we don't have that many vet surgeries anyway. So we're going to put this um, just here. I'm not even sure, like, let's check quickly about the energy supply. Ah, oh, yeah, that's still okay. Well, that's that's fine. Let's deactivate this one. Uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know that, I mean, for whatever you um, don't really, you, you know, why ever you wouldn't know that, but uh, the, the key H is basically the key for uh, enabling and disabling the overlay. Uh, if you if you want to do this on, on the go, you just press H. That's pretty simple indeed. Now let's also put a keeper hut in here. Now let's go and delete these things and just make the proper pathing. Uh, we're obviously going to hide this away, maybe as part of this bigger uh, habitat over here. But anyways, first of all, I just want to make sure that we have a bit of a... So... Hmm. Okay, we, we might just try to go with like seven-ish meters and then... Okay, that's... Okay, we go with six-ish meters maybe? Does six-ish work? Come on, six-ish meters does work. Oh, that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay, we can just create like, a, wait, we cannot create a circle. That is unfortunate. Um, okay, we have to see that we are going to create a circle here. Oh my God, does this actually, ooh, that works, awesome. Now, I would love to just be able to move it further in, but well, I could try to do it this way. And it doesn't work this side, right? Okay, let's do it again. Oh my Lord, this is going to be, very okay. I need to get rid of the angle snap and just hope that I that is fairly close. So, okay, if I can just do it that way or that way, I cannot. Okay, I can only just do it this way or this way, which we don't need. Okay, let's go to 10 meters and just I feel like this is kind of cool. 
that's that's kind of cool. Uh, I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's that's better. I didn't want to have like an enormous uh, kind of uh, <laughs> long path going in. Wait, was it? Wait, is this? Oh, okay, that was a bit too. That was a bit too much. Um, no, that's that's fine. I don't want to go further into this separation. No, I like this. I I do like this. This is this is fairly fairly nice looking. Okay, cool. So I actually wanted to put the tiger in, but. I feel like the line is a way better choice. Now, we definitely do this first. We are going to put the lion and the lioness in, which is here. The West African, hello, move. I mean, immunity is, can I just bring that into quarantine first? Do I actually have one? <laughs> um, I think that the wet, the wet, <laughs> the wet, uh, the vet will still do that. So let's, let's just try first. Um, nope, we're gonna go into my, um oh god so thank you for doing this and um this is mashika mashika is also going to go in awesome again i have no clue if if that's gonna be that's gonna be a perfect habitat for them but uh, we're gonna try we're gonna try and see what they like about this or not now i'm going to uh hit play again we're going to put in already facilities which is uh, easy to go when <laughs> when I finally find the right spot. I'm gonna put one, two, and um, I actually, why not also an ATM here? Need more money to donate? You can get more money to donate. Cool, where is the donation box? This is uh, here, here, and one just very straight up in the middle. Gonna, gonna get you an info sign here. Uh, we're gonna go and put the Education board to the left and to the right actually one to the left and One to the right so that the the main view is not blocked. This is what I definitely want to do So this is actually pretty nice looking I guess okay. There's someone bringing the animal in which is which is good um, I, I still feel like we need a lot more benches over here. This has to be nice looking you guys ask for it I will deliver hopefully <laughs> I guess um, putting all these uh, Benches in is is Badly need. Can I? I cannot put them to the other one. Okay. So white lion is in there. Look at that one. It is merged into the other one. So can we have now a semi white lion? That looks. That looks absolutely crazy. That looks crazy. Okay. So let me just check. Okay. It's just matured, which is crazy. From the Antwerp Zoo, and this is the one from Frontier Zoo. Frontier Zoo? How is that even possible? Uh, I didn't buy that for money, did I? No, I spent all my conservation credits on that. Um, which is not a bad thing, because we have still so many other animals where we can basically sell that. I'm still tempted to sell also my tiger, but I don't want, because I, I feel like this tiger, we can still try to max them out. We do just need another habitat to, to let them live in and, and kind of breed. Now, I just want to check their happiness level, okay, which is... So, land area is totally fine, terrain is fine, hard shelter will be fine as soon as we put a roof over. Well, that should be fine. Now, let's do the terrain work first. I mean, that should be easy peasy. Uh, we need some more short grass. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we have way too much soil, which is okay. Um, and we, we do have two less rock, right? Okay, so we can just get some more rock in here and there, just do some more rock over here. What do we still have too much, or way too much soil? I didn't know they, they like this that much, anyways. Um, okay, that's fine. Now the only thing I want to do is, I wanna just lower this down as much as possible and then just paint around here to make the whole area look a little bit more. Just ever so much that it does look organic. And that's about it. We do have to cover up most of it with um, with actual, <laughs> how's it called again, plants. Oh my god, foliage. That's, that's what I was looking for. Okay, that should be fine. Now, what about enrichment? Enrichment seems to be pretty much perfect. Hard shelter is not given. Uh, that will be fixed by the end of this episode, definitely. Gonna, gonna just put an easy roof over there. I like this building quite a bit, but I want to make this uh, fit into the style of this... Um, what is that? Brick brick wall. Brick wall. We're gonna use the brick wall and actually work with the actual brick wall of the game uh, to make it look nice. So now plants. I'm quite sure it's Africa, tropical, or no grassland. Grafrica, uh, uh, Grafrica. Grassland in Africa in one word. It's like Graf Grafrica. 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 God. Africa. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> uh, my god, biome, grassland, holy heck. So, that's it, Africa and grassland. There's, like, I... Never mind. You know what I mean. It's way too big, I guess, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Now, I like this tree so much because you can just always use it also, like, a little bit of, as, as a bush. So, as I use it over here. That's why I really like this one. Um, but also, the reed is, is, is very good to use. Um, the problem here is, and, and still will be, that that is... Um, Always, they don't like that many plants at all. Like the lines are very sensitive when it comes to their plants. But I still want to make this this whole thing look actually like a little bit like, like a nice area, and that is also always a problem, um, especially with this tree over here. I want to build that habitat so big that this one fits in. I'm gonna make also like a a glass roof in the middle. Um, really hoping that it stands out and and looks nice enough. Uh, so we can also use that tree, uh, as long as we are at the right height. Okay, oh god. The coverage is... Uh, let's get rid of this one then. I think I want to I wanna better have that tree, uh, you know, in comparison to the other one. 18%, well, so we're fine, I guess. This is like, you do like this habitat? Are you serious? Like, seriously? Gonna, gonna make them a little bit of a hilly area here. Just a very little bit. So here goes, okay. Now, that's pretty okay. That's pretty okay to me. Uh, let's also put in some rocks because they don't uh, complain about any rocks. So I do want to give them at least a little bit of a uh, rock area. I hope they can traverse that. Let's hope that we can make them kind of a lion pri uh, kind of pride rock here. Uh, pride rock-ish thing, I should say. Not like pride rock, but pride rock-ish thing. Um, there's this one, yeah, here we go, that's the one. Like above the water, something like that. And then we're going to give them a way to just move there, which hopefully is going to be this one. Yeah, that kind of looks decent enough to me. Um, and then we're going to use, uh, actually, wait. <laughs> um, I want to still have it as as thin as possible to yeah that that's gonna that's gonna work that's gonna work I I still want to have like a a kind of rock that goes down here to make sure it looks somewhat like as, as if there's a steady uh, kind of rock holding that that bigger one there um, but I I don't want to make sh this this too kind of cramped so they cannot swim I still want them to swim through here I think that's that's fairly okay. Now that's done. I still don't want to um, put play on now because I, I just want to make sure that we do have the blueprint to copy around. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a fairly simple one. Um, we're going to go in here, wall pieces. Gonna go with the brick wall, and uh, since that brick wall over here is four meters, that means we are at like three and a half meters and four meters in combined. We do have to measure that by. Now we're going to make like a, a, a kind of tilted roof anyway, so going to do it this way um yeah here we go okay that's what we need and uh, to be fair we can actually build that the whole long way and just have that have to to rotate it in a way that it does fit in here so it's kind of where i want to go and now let's see we have to just make sure that this is exactly the right angle we are in uh, it kind of almost is this one, right? Let's see. Yeah, I think that works. It's not like it's not inch perfect. Well, it's actually, it's actually really not good. Let's see. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, I think that's better. Now let's move it up again so that we have uh, the right height, which would be. It's actually exactly the same texture. I didn't even know, but that's good. That's really good. Okay, so we we have that one. Um. Let's see, where does this end if we could just copy it? Oh, that's fairly close, but well, it doesn't work, but I, I'm, I'm just happy it is fairly close. Now we need a flat roof first. Um, hmm. <sighs> Which one do we use here? The concrete floor again? Yeah, I mean, that one works best, I guess. So this is going to be only, only in here. 
I'm gonna just shorten that so we have a bit of Z fighting going on. Of course we have. And uh, we have any, any roof trims that we can... Good. These are like tiny. Tiny, tiny little roof trims. Uh, I like this. Even though it's that tiny, I, I'm still a fan of that. So the only thing I wonder about, but I'm, I'm just going to fix that in a bit. Let me just select those three. And just copy the whole thing over. And just once more. And one half-ish is missing, right? Yeah, one half-ish goes in here. Awesome. Yeah, that kind of fits. Okay, uh, I, I still don't want to... Okay, let's delete this one. And I don't want to go without an, a window. Like, I, I do want to have, like, a window. Okay, so that's it. And I'm gonna, gonna type in glass here. Glass. And obviously, we are going with a non-grid version here. Oh, well. It doesn't work also with this one. Just move that slightly in. Okay, that's it. Just move it out. Oh, wait. I, I potentially could also have, like ish yeah that makes the whole thing yeah I like if it's a bit more yeah this is like darkened or like subtle whatever you want to call it but I think that's that's looking a lot better now um, I like this roof piece quite a bit like I would love to just make the whole roof out of this one uh, which is not possible unfortunately um, and also not high enough for this one so what we do we're going to use the uh, modern glass wall uh, thing here. I'm not even sure if that is high enough. I guess it is not. Uh, it's still sticking out, right? Like, how high do we need to go? Okay, we don't need to go all the height. Okay, this is the height we need to go to, right? Okay. So, did we? No, we didn't. That is kind of... Yeah, okay, that's that's the blueprint we need to wait, we need to go for. And, um, apparently... I do want to fence this off, like, over here. I'm, I'm not willing to make this any any kind of complicated. Uh, that, uh, you know, the thing is... Okay, is this kind of the side piece for it? Yeah, again, that's what I meant. I don't want to make it awfully com complicated, so we're going to make, like, a normal roofing on top of those sides here. Uh, now, how about these areas? Okay, well, there should be a piece that is adjusted to the height. Is it that one? Oh, but I like it. it. It's not that one. We still need something else in between, but I like this piece. Oops. Um, it kind of looks good. Nope. Again. Nopity nope. Alright, uh, that is done. Like, what about... It's not this piece. It's not like that. What about... What about... Wait, where is that even? Okay, here. That, that's what I meant. That's the that's the one suiting. Uh, that's awesome. It really fits nicely in. Cool. Now, 1, 2, 3, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, whatever, it's all in. Okay, cool. Now, what we need is, obviously, we need to rotate this piece. Hope it is exactly... Yeah, it is. Okay, so we only need to move this in here. Awesome. Now, my plan, obviously, is to... Wow. It looks better than I thought, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the plan is to, to just have the glass roof now in the middle. Which is not this one. That looks stupid. Uh, there needs to be another one, which uh, is... Uh, yeah, I think it is definitely part of that one. Yeah, here we go. Um, I can't even see if it's the right height. It's not. It's not. Is it that one? Huh. No, okay, we have to... Yeah, okay, I, I'm just... One, two... Is that... Okay, three. Gonna do it this way already. Here we go. That is awesome. And then we're just going to select these, copy it over, split it from the group, and we're going to move it in. Just over here. Up and down, no Z fighting. No one needs Z fighting. Okay, so that is kind of cool. I just I love these 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 um, roofs, but at the same time I hate them uh, them because the problem is they will look kind of dull if you if you don't put on some some iron beams and stuff and and that is exactly my issue with the uh, with the kind of let's play format because it, it definitely would take too much time to do this really nicely and that is why I always say or I always keep saying um, that this format is really not meant to be. 
uh, super creative and super detailed. It's just not working. It's just in terms of time management and in terms of resources or whatever, it's just not working. We definitely would need to um, sacrifice some of the skills uh, I, I might want to bring into an episode like that, but it's just not, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it's still okay for those of you enjoying me talking you through and, and doing the way it the way I do it. Uh, I think they still will get uh, their deserved fun in, in the episode. So yeah. Okay, now let's um, do the following. We just, we do need, actually we do need this. That's, that's all we need. Split this and then angle snap is turned on, right? So... Actually, what we only need to do, move that into this piece and then just go exactly for the height, which is that one. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're going to make some bigger pillars here to the sides, uh, which will then close off this area uh, because I'm lazy. So <laughs> that's why. Uh, let me just exactly move it in here. Yeah, well, that's okay. And then I'm going to do the same over here. That's, that's not the right length, but I think we can we can just deal with that. Now to make it easy, we're going to take us that one. Awesome. And just do it this way. Now there shouldn't be any Z fighting going on, which I feel like is a good idea to not have. It's super annoying. I, for those of you who don't know what I meant by uh, Z fighting, because there's still people that don't know it. Um, when pieces are exactly at the exact same height, but they intersect with each other. Let me just show you. Like uh, I, I take this piece and I'm going to move this slightly in and I, I just hit... Put, you can see it, it's kind of starting to to uh, have this this weird movement going on. It's it's almost like uh, there's a little glitch going on. And this is kind of what you call Z fighting because Z fighting means that um, the texture that is displayed at the exact same value on the Z Z or Z axis, if you will. And that's why they are fighting for the display position. And since the game is not able to distinguish which one is uh, the one to be rendered, uh, it, it kind of creates this weird thing, which is, is constantly a change between both textures that are fighting to be displayed. So you always want to make sure that you just change the value of the Z uh, height, uh, you know, very very slightly and very subtle so you pay you basically as, as human you don't notice a difference but for the game it is enough to understand which one is above and which one is below so you can basically see no difference there's like no difference in uh, in in the height well there's a very very subtle one but you have to look that close to actually distinguish but yeah that's what you do to get rid of the z fighting uh in case you were wondering what i'm always talking about so now you know that's it uh, yeah, we are outside the zoo, I know. Uh, okay, we have like 27 minutes into the episode. I <laughs> We just put a toy outside. Um, <laughs> I just we did. Anyways, uh, I'm, I'm not going to like finish this completely today. Uh, I For the next episode, I will do some off-screen work, I promise, because this is not what you guys deserve. You guys deserve a lot more finished builds, uh, which I will do definitely, I promise, as I said. And uh, then... Yeah, well, I, I really hope that this will lead to an overall uh, better looking zoo this time. And uh, I will have to take these steps. I, I will have to do this, uh, otherwise there is no chance. And here you go, and you can see again the Z fighting. You know, the trick is just to split one piece from the group and then you'll be able to do it that way. I'm just right now only only just kind of doing the, the main layout here for uh, this area. Like, I, I want to make sure that it is at least uh, somewhat finished for today's episode. Uh, that's all we need. And we just kind of move this. Um, oops. No. Oh, well, it is, it is what it is, but I need to move that one in. Here we go. Now, there's... Oh, well, it, it can be because you do need that one. So, shelter-wise, we should be definitely okay now because that is that is more than a little bit of a hard shelter they know uh, they need. Um, I wonder also if we keep it that open. I feel almost like I want to go and raise this whole thing quite a bit more. And if so, whoops, uh, didn't want to do that. I need to lower this down. Same goes for that one because else the the windows would be shut in a way. We don't we don't want the windows to be shut. Um, but I just want to make sure that we take these pillars over here as uh, kind of brick pillars too. I I feel like this looks be almost better. And then if you go in, you have this big yeah. That kind of looks okay to me. It, it's not looking stellar at this point. Uh, do by the way. 
talking of, of looking stellar. I feel like that doesn't look nice either, so gonna position that wall here and the roof. Actually, the roof. Actually, the roof can already be placed in. Why not? I mean, come on. That is about the easiest we can do. So, one, two, three, four, five, eight, twenty, whatever. Just one. Just select them all here. And hello, copy. And copy another one. That kind of fits, which is great. And what doesn't fit is the tree. But, you know, we can just move it a bit down. That should be fine. Oh, well, here we go. Okay, cool. So everything is just moved into place. It doesn't look that nice over here for the side. You know, we still need to hide away uh, the... God, what did I just do here? We still need to hide away the staff facilities. But for the moment, that is all nice uh, with the lion house. We can't... While well, we did this for the other side, we can we can also do this over here. Uh, I don't even know why I waited for it so long. I mean, it's it's fairly easy to just bring that roof in um yeah it will be z fighting again and we're just doing that okay you know we do it that way split from the group because then we can also bring that into exact the position we need just raise it a bit move it down again done that's about where did this wall go i i did bought did i build that wall i didn't no one wants to build a wall uh but i Wait, no. So is that floating? It's apparently not. It does work this way. So what about me putting these in now? So same rule as always, right? So just let's put that from the roof. Ah, here we go. It looks almost finished. Uh, I think we're just gonna get another window in here later. But well, I think that's uh, fairly okay for this episode. Anyways, I want to open the zoo again uh, to make sure we get some more animals in. Uh, I cannot change the time, can I? No. The prices might be too high now because they are not able to see all the animals. But you know what, we just open the zoo and see what happens because um, I, I don't know... Uh, protesters have arrived in my zoo. For what animal though? Umi, umi, umi. I mean, how will they be able to go there? They won't. And why do they have that low welfare? Is it space? Oh, it is space. Ah, that doesn't matter because then we're going to sell some of the hippos. So, I mean, I, I keep that fairly easy, uh, but not from that menu. Uh, or, 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 how many? We have quite a few hippos, right? Yeah, so do we have some smaller hippos? We don't. Um, now, I do want to... I do want to keep um, Matsuyomo, and I want to keep... I, I cannot even... Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep the, the Frontier Zoo ones, and I'm going to sell my two ones here. Release into the wild. Wow, 900. There we go. And the welfare is already a lot better. I mean, I don't really care about that too much, because they, they still are not too young to uh, die. <laughs> uh, no, apparently they are not too young to not get any more babies, so... Um, saltwater crocodile had offspring. Now, if I do, you know, if I do keep that in mind correctly, the zoo should only be, oh, yeah, for the left-hand side, exactly. So if we go here, this is closed refurbished, uh, for refurbishment, closed for refurbishment, okay. This will be improved in the future. We have still some habitats to be used. Uh, do we still have some bongos, though? Or did I sell them all? No, we do still have some bongos. Um, tickets are underpriced. Oh, I, I well, I... I, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, it, it's it's not my kind of issue here, but if you say so, well, that is fine. That is totally fine. Give me the money. I mean, come on. Um, you protesters are going to leave, right? Yes, okay. So we have uh, some facilities. VIP guest arrived in my zoo. Jesse Cat, say hello. Give me the, the conservation credits. Awesome. So, alpha status, alpha status, alpha status. That is all pretty much okay to me. I don't care. Habitat has no keepers assigned. That is about to be absolutely freaking true. So, what we will do is, let's see if we do have another... Uh, wait, first of all, we have to create a uh, staff and we're going to create a work zone. New work zone is going to have those things, those things, and not this one. going to call this one lions and um also who, who has been in the box for oh god why unbox them all thank you um now my biggest question i have is 
wait, what? Okay, the guests are just going here. That's that's awesome. Um, don't really, well, don't really mind. Uh, now, let's see if there is any any staff member of our keepers who's got a low workload. Okay, Bengal Tiger, Bengal Tiger. We've got two Bengal Tiger ones, right? Um, so we can just change you to lion, I guess, right? Lions. Here we go. Come over to the lions. I wonder if they just go over. Oh, you know what? It, it should be easier if I go and just keep this one. Uh, I'm gonna gonna say, Catherine Britt, I'm going to take you and move you over before, because otherwise that's gonna, that's gonna take like ages until she's there. But now that should be fine. Let's have a look at our lions, what they are doing. Okay, this lion is just lying perfectly um, in here. Um, welfare is really amazing. Let's compare the mates. Um, compare mates and 68%. That's okay. That's okay. That is absolutely okay. And maybe we just want to... Ah, oh, yes, do it. We want to have baby camels indeed. Look at that. Oh, yes. Rudy, you did a really great job. It wasn't even not Rudy. It was Quadan. Quadan is... is ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna get baby camels. How great is that? Uh, right. So oh, look at look at that one. That's so good. African wild dog is about mature. Okay, we're gonna be fighting then. Where's our lioness? She's she's swimming, right? Um. Um. Well, we've got a white lion and we've got a holy lion. Not gonna complain, but that is interesting. So we're not going to make any money, are we? <laughs> I almost feel like we are losing money here. Um, because I was like 144. We are losing actually money. So uh, I think potentially we have to reopen the zoo then. I mean, it will be pretty easy to make money again. We just connect this uh, path over here again and then the zoo will run. We will make some money and we can close it off again. Uh, but well, that's not the target, right? We want to make sure that our zoo is, is doing well. And um, we are making money. I wonder though why we are not making any money right now. We should do money, but we are losing crazy amounts of money at the moment. Even though we get a lot of more, lot more guests, which are just buying all the stuff over here. They're going to go for the for the saltwater crocodiles. Um, yeah, I mean we don't have that many donation boxes ready yet because. Uh, we do have them ready, obviously, but uh, you know, I'm just copying them over. Maybe because the, the people do not stand there. I'm gonna get some more donation boxes. Yeah, go to the lions. That's a fairly good idea. Um, education board. West African lion. Here we go. Lions should be very, 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 very happy and, and good and, and awesome creatures. Uh, what would it just like? Medicine. Bleh. Bleh. Population fragmentation. No. Is there like amphibian? Climate change. Climate change is okay. Climate change is also affecting the lions. Okay. Now that is uh, that is awesome. The zoo is going to be filled again, and I, you can, I just don't know if we make any money. I also wonder if we would be able to put some exhibits in in the future because we still don't have any any smaller exhibits. And I also wonder if I, I would love to be able to just, I mean, I am able, but uh, what about copying this habitat over here? So we have like the tiger next to the line and we could kind of connect this big thing over here for maybe the Siberian uh, tiger as well. So what? Incorrect sex ratio? What does that even mean? The incorrect sex ratio because I like I really don't get that because they they told me that this like group wise uh what okay I still don't get why they would fight honestly um makes no sense to me but hell okay. Well, if they don't do... Pff. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Never mind. Yeah, well, but I think... Um, yeah, money-wise, we're... Yeah, they're throwing the money in. Are you playing with that box now? Rawr. DJ Joa. 
I don't want to go there. I just want to get the, I just want to get the money. That's all. Uh, okay, we said hello. I just want to see. Do you do you just play now with the? And where where's your where's your wife? Where is she? Is she still lying on the water? No, she's not. She decided to go and and have a sleep actually on the on the floor, which is which is a good point, I guess. Um, but yeah, mates, uh, that, that that's basically it. Oh yeah, are you no, you're not. I'm going to go for a swim. Nope. I do want you to mate with her because I want to have some baby uh, albino animals. That would be awesome. Ah, you're pooping for us. That is oh oh yes, thank you. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. So I I assume you had already your food, did you? You didn't, I guess. But hopefully you're not starving because my my keepers are awesome and and just letting animals starve, I guess. Uh, we're still losing money. We do need to have... What the hell? Um, so... <laughs> I have the feeling that my best animal at the moment... That's the Bengal tiger? What? So why are you not able to, to pass through here? It's gonna all... They're all crammed in here. We're not making any money because all our people are just having a bottleneck down here. Uh, that is interesting. Okay. Well, we are still still losing money, uh, which is due to the fact that we don't have enough donation uh, chances. So again, what I what I just said, I feel almost like we have to connect. You know what we do? We do connect this quickly. I don't want to see what happens if I connect. If I reconnect, I should say. This area. Uh, let's just do it this way. And then we just get rid of... Oh god, how can we... I think it's okay. We can get rid of this connection. That is fine. Because this part of the zoo is a lot better already than the rest of the zoo. So what I don't like is this beginning area. And I feel almost like if we... You have to decide in the comments down below. By the way, guys, a question of the day is, what are you going to do on the weekend? Um, that is my most important uh, question. So I think I am fine with um, having the zoo open this way. So this is this is the the whole area will be completely redone. I'm going to rip this whole area away, and we're going to make this look a lot nicer. And so we basically have this area uh, that is kind of the start of the new zoo. This area, which is a lot nicer already than the rest. I'm not so I'm not a big fan of the hippo habitat either. I have to say. So yeah, this is this is what we do. We're gonna make sure that the zoo um, moves towards that direction with a lot nicer buildings, and uh, you know this is already a way better layout than we what have have we done over here but I'm just such a big fan of the uh, tiger habitat in general and oh, okay okay interesting um, that I don't want to just lose this also like the, the food court over here and everything is, is kind of nice I I really do like this um, oh what I, I shouldn't forget about is to delete this piece of path over here because IELTS people can just go in here which I don't want them to do I want them to be still in that area see now the people are always using uh, these paths as well they can also go to the grizzly bears and we are going to get a lot more guests now which uh, leads to having a lot more money I guess uh, which is good because we need money and I think this is a fair reason to start over with this new season um, yeah, our keepers and, and, and our staff is, is still doing their jobs, which uh, is a good one. Um, animals are happy so far. I mean, except the fighting for alpha status and sex ratio, what the hell that is. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoy this new orientation of our zoo. And I really hope that you guys are now going to tune in for my live stream uh, at the other one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, just check the comments. People will answer you where I'm live streaming. I'm just not allowed to say anything uh, because YouTube. Um, <laughs> so if you want to jump over, we are going to play a whole lot of uh, Planet Zoo. We are maybe testing a little bit of uh, Halo Reach uh, because Halo was just released this week for Steam as well. And um, we also might just jump back into Planko for half an hour or so, just having a look at uh, Napali. And um, yeah, we are going to play even more Planet Zoo, obviously, and maybe even play in this zoo a bit, but mainly in my Sandbox Zoo. For those of you who are interested, just jump over, make sure I'll be starting, yeah, in about an hour. 
I guess, from now. Like, as I said, it will be somewhere between 7 and 8 p.m. Central European time. And uh, I hope to see you there, guys. I really hope to see you there. Until then, have a wonderful time. And, um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, question of the day, uh, of today, of the day is, uh, what are you going to do on the weekend? And also, question for this uh, franchise is, are you okay with me opening the back part of the zoo? Because it's still, I think, this looks fairly okay. And we're going to rip away, and you guys have to decide if that's fine as well. We're going to delete... The Bongo Habitat. Um, maybe this is the only one we are keeping in a way because I like the Habitat in general. It's just not perfect, uh, but this has some potential with the viewing platform. Uh, we're going to delete the Hyena Habitat. We're going to delete or redo the Japanese one. Uh, is that again on the stairs? Oh, it's not on the stairs. Where is the animal? Where is that one? Uh, is it back in? Oh, I think it was again the glitch on, on, on the plans. God, I was in the middle of my, my kind of final thoughts. God, oh God, okay. So we are going to rip away or we're just going to relocate the Japanese macaque habitat. And um, yeah, we are keeping basically this area as it is right now. Maybe we're going to relocate this Japanese one in here. So that makes a, more, a lot more sense. Kind of have an Asian area in, in, the, in the back here. And um, yeah. I think that's that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, let me know in the comments about everything. I don't want to repeat that uh, for the 11,000th time. Um, yeah, hope to see you soon. And until then, have a great time, guys, and bye. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.